team. I'm from Kirkgrid. Today I will talk about the realistic battery mark. Agenda is what and how and the problem I faced and then solutions and then on. The first I want to make a UI tax automation for web app, but it's using blockchain. As you guys already know about that, it was the biggest difference from the just normal web app, it's just using um, transaction, uh, signing transaction using that mass. So I want to make this in the CI system and code build. So this is our final goal. And actually we built up the, all the pipelines now. So for this, I decided to use Task Cafe. It's an really amazing UI testing framework, the open source. There's a bunch of features out there, but I can explain about a few things. It's a great stable test. So we don't need to think about the uh, how how we can delay or wait for the rendering or the API or synchronous process sort of things will be automatically uh, run and then support the JavaScript and TypeScript and then detect JavaScript error when you run your task then task cap will restart all the tasks and then launch concurrency and then to build a readable task this is a really important part for developers to understand and why the complex uh, the element in the HTML and finally, we could use this in the CI using command and many a bunch of options. The problem is the task cap doesn't support man mask, so I couldn't find in the specific way, but I actually find a small way to enable man mask from user profile. But the problem is test cap cannot access the pop-up and the click button or something. Eventually we should run it in the headless mode. It means there is no way to control any pop-up of the buttons. But I found a way um, using mock. This is a really tricky and I know it's not trick. There's a return the dummy transaction has in black number block numbers. I enjoy it really, really enjoyed in the passing task. But I found uh, something happened. So I, I thought what? But I looked into it, what happened in our system. And actually our system, one of our feature is syncing up the blockchain data in the back end and the return the front end side. So, but uh, dummy transaction data didn't happen actual blockchain so it means there's no update and back end return nothing in the end so what am I going to do and then I thought about what I'm going to do but I don't want to give up so I found another way using web3 it's really simple and clean and create a new wrapper for the web3 and then actually these main key features are here and include address and private key and to sign the transaction is kind of a wallet. And then easy to enable and disable when uh, on the front end compile stage. And also we can call exactly the same method in Web3. And then we don't need MetaMask anymore. So it's a really simple thing. I'm gonna show you a demo. This is one feature in MultiPass we built now and called MultiSig Wallet. It's a MultiSig Wallet have the multiple owners in them and then number of requires and the, the required confirmations and they can allow to sign the transaction multiple users. As you can see, the, the deploy and sign and the transaction actually happened in the blockchain, but there's no MetaMask interaction. So we can make it clean and fast and so super in a convenient way. So for this, we complete the test and I pass the test. Eventually, I wasn't happy, okay? <laughs> but this is not all for the UI testing, that we found some bugs in Solidity and Gap recently. It was really, uh, we are really proud of that. And then also we realized the way organized UI testing can uh, help keep uh, our system safe, also help contribute to the open source community. So what I, what I want to say is uh, don't forget the test, whatever you guys do, okay? Thank you.